Hi. Today in our series, under the topic Politics of Africa and Historical Antecedents, we would like to take a look at the life and assassination of General Imano Kwesi Kotoka of Ghana. In the first place, who was General Kotoka? General Imano Kwesi Kotoka, born 26 September 1926, was a Ghanaian military officer who was a member of the ruling National Liberation Council, which came to power in Ghana in a military coup on the 24th February 1966. This overthrew the government of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. General Kotoka was born at Alakple, a village in the Keta district of the Volta region of the Gold Coast. He started training as a ghostmate after completing Alakple Roma Catholic School but switched to a career in the military in July 1947. He enlisted in the infantry school of the Gold Coast Regiment, Atheshi in Accra. He rose through the ranks, becoming a sergeant in 1948 and later company sergeant major in 1951. In 1952, he was among some West African soldiers selected for training at Eton Hall Officer Cadet School in the United Kingdom. In 1954, he was commissioned as a lieutenant. On his return to the Gold Coast, as Ghana was then called, he was made a platoon commander of the 2nd Gold Coast Regiment of Infantry. He rose to become a captain and later major. In 1960, he attended a company commander's course at the School of Infantry in Warminster, England. In 1960, he was the commander of D Company of the Detachment of the 2nd Battalion of the Ghana Army, which made up Ghana's contingent in the United Nations operation in the Congo, deployed in the capital, Leopoldville, now Kinshasa, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He was regarded as a national hero following this deployment. He was awarded the Ghana Service Order for Exceptional Bravery for Distinguished service in the Congo in 1963. He later became the commander of the 2nd Infantry Brigade. General Kotoka was the key architect behind the first bloody coup in Ghana on the 24th February 1966, which brought an end to the First Republic. The code name of this operation was Operation Cold Chop. Kodoka was the one who announced the coup to the nation on the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. On the day of the coup, Kodoka was promoted to Major General and became a member of the ruling National Liberation Council and also the Commissioner for Ministry of Health as well as a General Officer commanding the Ghana Armed Forces. Now how Kodoka was killed. On the April 17th, 1967, General Emmanuel Kosi Kotoka was killed in an abortive coup attempt involving junior officers in an operation which was codenamed Gita Boy. The abortive coup was instigated by three junior officers of the Ghana Armed Forces. They are Lieutenant Samuel Atta, Lieutenant Moses Yebua, and Second Lieutenant Ose Poku with the support of several senior officers, including Warrant Officer George Ofosu and 119 soldiers of the 2nd Recognizance Regiment. These soldiers succeeded in breaking through the defenses of the Army Headquarters at the Flagstaff House and captured Lieutenant General Kotoka. During his court martial, Lieutenant Yebua admitted to stabbing and shooting Kotoka to death. It was widely alleged then that bullets and sharp objects could not penetrate through the body of General Kotoka when he was in his full element as a commander of a Ghanaian army. But his powers were deliberately weakened by some of his own people when he visited his hometown and was given a hero's welcome and installed as a chief. The lesson then is should people be careful when their achievements make them to be awarded with a chieftaincy title? 
with rituals done. Kodoka was reported killed close to the Ghana International Airport, which was later named after him as Kodoka International Airport. Lieutenant Moses Yebua and Lieutenant Sam Atta were later tried and sentenced to death by a military tribunal. They were publicly executed at a military firing squad. General Emmanuel Kwesi Kotoka came and saw and conquered at the age of 40 years. But the question remained, was he also reconquered? Friends, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best of news and on lifestyle from all over the world. Thank you so much.